All right, in this is fourth grade, module one, lesson nine. And in this lesson, we are finally really moving towards getting our students to doing that standard algorithm, that standard method for rounding a number to any place value. So let's get started. So here it says round to the nearest thousand. And the idea is we're going to be using that, you know, that standard method, trying to do it without a number line. Uh, but I am going to kind of use a shortcut. So let's take a look at, oh, the nearest thousand. So let's take a look at this number right here. So I'm going to write that number down, 16,051. And the idea is, first off, we need to identify, well, what is the thousands place? So parents and teachers, again, we just need our students to have memorized that place value chart, the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands place chart. And once they've got that, we want them to first recognize that here's our thousands place. And if we were going to create a number line, we're not exactly going to create a number line. We're going to kind of briefly simulate a number line. The idea would be where what would be down here in the number line? It would be 16,000. And what would be way up here on the number line? It would be 17,000. Because the idea is... If this is the place value that we're rounding to, the thousands place, then we need to decide, is this number, this 16,051, is this number going to be closer to 16,000 or is it going to be closer to 17,000? And so our, we want students, without even drawing that middle midpoint, to recognize that, oh, 16,051 is closer to 16,000, and so it rounds down to 16,000. Similarly, if we were to take 706,421, so now I am modeling this one here. If we were going to draw some sort of number line, well, the first thing we knew, need to do is recognize that here's our place value. Here's our thousands place. And the idea would be, oh, okay, so our number line would be 706,000, 707,000, 708,000, because this is the thousands place that we care about. And in our, our number line, if we were using the number line method, the bottom would be 706,000, and then the top would be 707,000. And then our task would be to figure out, well, is this number going to be closer to 706,000? Or is it going to be closer to 707,000? And once again, we see that it rounds down. It's closer to 706,000. So that's the idea, is the idea of just looking at the digit that matters, so to speak. In this case, we're rounding to the thousands place. And then this part is going to tell us if we are closer, in this case, to 706,000 or are we closer to 707,000. Rounding to the nearest 10,000, I'm going to do a little bit more, um, let's see, uh, describing it more like using the regular method, that algorithm, so to speak. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So it's 789,091. And first, since we're rounding to the nearest 10,000, we need to identify where that 10,000 place is, and it's right here. So now what we need to do is we kind of need to look over here, and we need to say, does this part this piece mean that we're going to be closer to 780,000 or are we going to be closer to 709 whoa 790,000 and students are going to recognize oh this piece right here makes us closer to 790,000 and then let's do one last one. Let's take a look at this one. So this is 905,154. And again, so where's our 10,000s place? Is right here with that zero. 
So we need to decide, is it going to round down to 900,000 or is it going to round up to 901, I mean uh, 910,000? So our students are going to look at all this junk right here. And this, does this stuff make us closer to 910,000 or does it make us closer to 900,000? And in this case, again, it rounds up to 910,000. And the last problem for this video, uh, we've got President Obama's inauguration in 2013. The newspaper headline stated that there were about 800,000 people in attendance. So there's a key thing. Now, if the newspaper rounded to the nearest 100,000, what would the largest number and the smallest number of people that could have been there? So what we're going to do is we're going to think, we're going to return to that number line. All right, and we're going to think about it rounds to 800,000. So I'm going to write it right here. And let's put all the way up here, 900,000. Let's put way down here, 700,000. So now we need to think about the numbers on the number line that are going to round up to 800,000 or round down to 800,000. Because all we know is the newspaper rounded to the nearest 100,000. So if we were to think of things like, I don't know, 710,000, would that round up to 800 or would that round down? Well, that would round down. So if as we creep our little number line up, as, a, as we kind of slowly move this, whoa, whoa. So as we slowly move this up, where is it that it's going to suddenly start rounding to the 800,000 instead of down to 700,000? And the idea would be once we reach kind of like that midway between 700 and 800,000, it kicks over and starts to round up because when we're way down here, it's going to round down to 700,000. So when we're starting at that midway point, it's going to round up to 800,000. So the idea would be, all right, well, what value is that? And that place is 700, I mean, uh, 750,000 right here. So anything up here from 750,000 and up is going to round up to 800,000. And in the same kind of way, it's midway is 850,000 and anything from 850,000 and lower is going to round down to 800,000 and really we're not going to say 850,000 really anything from 849,999 and lower is going to round down to 800,000 so the let's see what's the largest number would be 800 49,999, that's going to round down to 800,000. And then what's the smallest number? The smallest number is 750,000. And that wraps up fourth grade, module one, lesson nine, using our understanding of place value, but really starting to use that standard algorithm, algorithm that standard method for rounding multi-digit numbers to any place value.